Hello everyone, this is our Wheatley 0206 and uh, got a couple of things I want to show you tonight. I got uh, <laughs> I got an amazing AOK -okay from James Boom Boom Comics and I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that he, or this show you the stuff that he sent me. Uh, I got these in the mail yesterday and they are absolutely awesome. First up, this uh, print of Wonder Woman. Extremely awesome. And it's signed by Neil Adams. How awesome is that? Up next, he sent me this little poster from uh, Tricon 75 years of Batman and every one of these pictures, I don't know how well you can see it, but every one of these pictures has an autograph in the white part of the bat signal for the artist of each one of these so he's had this signed by every artist and get my hand out of the way so you can see it. Every artist on here. And it tells you the name of the artist down below. But then they've signed it in the white part. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Every single one of them have the signature from the artist. Sorry, whoa, get off the glare there. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. That is awesome. And everything he sent me was awesome. <laughs> now this one here, and of course everybody knows I'm a huge Batman fan. But this poster here is absolutely awesome as well. Tri-State Con is where this one came from. I'll get it back here where you can kind of see the whole thing. Got my Kirk and Spock figures keeping me company here. And I'm not sure who the autograph is by. James, You, I'm sure you can probably tell me, but I can't make out the signature, but it's just absolutely awesome. I've got to get frames for all these. <laughs> I hope I've got enough wall space to hang them all, but by golly, I tell you what, I'm going to do my best. Here's another one. Very awesome poster. Kind of close to the camera, sorry about that. Very awesome poster. And it's signed by, I think it's Rob Dumo, I think is how you pronounce it. And up next, this one is from Hero Conventions Charlotte, June 24th, whoops, I don't have it over where you can see it, June 24th through the 26th of 2005. And as you can see, well, if I could get out of the way, all of these signatures that he got. The one I do recognize right there, I don't know if you can see that one or not, A.H. <laughs> so, and then over on this side, we've got even more absolutely awesome that is absolutely awesome James I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate these those are so awesome <laughs> I mean you know just to get you know just to get the Neil Adams signature is awesome in itself but then to get all of those others dude I'm speechless I, I, I don't even know what to say but thank you very much 
you're an awesome friend and I really appreciate every single one of those. They're absolutely beautiful and I'm going to display them proudly in this room. <laughs> so again, James, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, buddy. And if you guys haven't checked out Boom Boom Comics, go to his channel. It is awesome. He does some great stuff. Um, you know, he doesn't just do comic books. He also, his, well, his son, uh, Daniel, also does videos with him and shows off a lot of his uh, Star Wars stuff, uh, Legos sets, and, you know, he also shows comic books. And they just, and Funko Pops, uh, I believe they, yeah, I know he's done that uh, on several occasions. Uh, and Disney stuff, you know, he has some awesome videos from when they go to Disney World. And, uh, you know, the things that they do there and the things they pick up. It's just, he's just got an awesome channel. And I can't say enough about how much I appreciate this guy. He is awesome we keep in contact outside of youtube all the time and uh, i just really appreciate his friendship and his channel and all that he does and like i said i just can't say enough about it uh, about him and his family they're great i also got a christmas card from him um and it's got a picture of him and his wife and son on there that's really cool i really appreciate that too so that's my haul from Boom Boom Comics now. I'm going to show you a few things that I've picked up. I haven't really picked up a whole lot in the last couple of weeks, or in the last week anyway. But uh, I did want to show my uh, Star Trek figures. This one here, Mr. Spock, over here on the left. That is an Ashton Drake. Uh, figure and so is the Captain Kirk on the right side over here he uh, he is also an Ashton Drake these are 14 inch figures I believe and uh, there was a there was going to be a series I, I started the series of them and Spock was first and then or I'm sorry Captain Kirk was first and then Spock comes second and they're they're like a hundred and thirty hundred forty dollars a piece um, from Ashton Drake and then after Spock came out, they never came out with any more of them. So I was really hoping to get Bones and, you know, Uhura and Sulu and Chekhov and Scotty. But they've never come out with any more. And I've probably had these, well, I got the Spock probably a year and a half, two years ago. And they've never come out with any of the other ones. So, so I guess that's all I'm going to get. Unless they decide later on to bring them out or whatever. But, but anyway, uh, it's cool to have those two, so... Oh, and they do this. Well, if I can figure out where it's at. Oh, there. And he keeps talking and says a few other things. And then Captain Kirk. If I can remember where his button is. Okay, Spock, that's enough. I thought his was right in here, but may oh no, maybe down here. There we go. Space the one thing I don't like about the Captain Kirk figure he sounds like he's been sucking helium. Yeah, anyway. Okay, that's enough. Like I said, he sounds like he's been sucking helium or something that's a little too high pitched. But anyway, so anyway, I picked up this uh, uh, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. That's number 98. Pretty cool looking comic. 
I need to switch hands here because I keep blocking the light. I didn't put my light in the proper place. And I love the go-go checks at the top, so I just had to pick this one up. It's not in real great shape, but it's not bad. Let's see, we picked up uh, Detective Comics 993. Love the, uh, I believe it's Mark Brooks cover. Interesting looking bat cycle. And then I picked up Amazing Spider-Man number 10. And I'm pretty sure this is J. Scott Campbell cover. And then we've got Batman 59. Another awesome looking cover with Penguin and Bane in the background there. And can't really see Batman, but he's on there. <laughs> I'm still not sure how to, what to make of this book, but uh, this is Batman the Max, Arkham Dreams. This is number one. I had picked up number two, but I hadn't picked up number one. Then I thought, well, I better get number one. I haven't read any of these yet, but the artwork is uh, interesting, to say the least. And I, I'm not saying I don't like it. It's it's not. Well, how do I put it? <laughs> it's not what I expect from a Batman, from Batman art. But but it's different and it's neat. So I'm I'm trying to pick those up as I go. Now, I'm going to show a few other books, and some of these are books that I got from Ollie's. Um, this one I just picked up a couple weeks ago. Justice League. And it's kind of neat because uh, the, uh, I don't know if you can tell it or not. Well, yeah, there you go. Uh, this is all embossed here. And uh, it's kind of a neat book. It's more of a kid's book, but I just thought it was cool, and I'm sure my grandkids will enjoy it too, so. But it's pretty neat. Hardcover, and I think only pay like a dollar ninety nine for it. I always take the tags off, but but uh, I think I paid like a dollar ninety nine for that one. This one here, Showcase presents the Super Friends. Picked that one up at Ollie's also. As you can see, it's a fairly thick book. And it's got a lot of interesting artwork in it. Um, it's all black and white, which is kind of cool. So pick that one up. This one also came from Ollie's. Batman Second Chances. Um, this one and the Super Friends. I think I paid around three ninety nine or four. I may have paid two ninety nine for this one. I think the Super Friends one was either three ninety nine or four ninety nine. But it's a pretty cool book, and I have this comic with this on the cover, so I wanted to pick that up. Um, some of the other ones I've picked up are pretty cool. I don't have them out right now. I'm not sure where I put them. <laughs> so, anyway, next one up, Batman in the 50s. This is a very cool book. Um, and it's uh, uh, the introductions by Michael Uslan, which um, if you're much of a Batman fan, you know that he uh, He's the guy that uh, made it possible for the 1989 Batman movie. He basically bought the franchise back in the day and then took him several years to get the movie made. But uh, he's also uh, got a book out that if you're a Batman fan and you know, you're know you a fan of the movies and so on, you really ought to pick it up because uh, uh, Michael Uslan, uh wrote a book called The Boy Who Loved Batman. And basically kind of tells his story and, and all about how he, you know, 
went about getting the franchise and all that for the Batman movies. And, and uh, it's, it's a really cool book. It's a good read. And this book here, it's got collar pictures. And I really do love the old Batman art from the 40s and 50s. The Bob Kane Batman. And, and this book has got some, some great artwork from back in the day. Really love this book. Some good pictures of. Let me, uh, yeah, let me get, yeah, that's better. Maybe it's better. It's got some great artwork. There's Batman, Robin, and Alfred. Bat signal in the background there. Just some really cool artwork. Love this book. Okay, next up. And I think I got this one from Ollie's as well. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to kick the camera. Um, this one's Batman The War Years, 1939 to 1945. And uh, it's a really awesome book as well. I'm going to move this camera back just a little bit. So I can uh, rearrange some stuff here a little bit. Give you an idea of what's in this book. It also shows the covers and that. Kurt, there's your Joker cover. I would love to have that book. Beautiful cover. Great artwork. And this is... Uh, here's some more. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, there's some there's some really cool stuff in this book as well. And like I said, I picked this up at Ollie's. I think I picked this up for either $5.99 or $6.99. And it's uh, you know, it's a uh, what is the price on this book? The uh, the original price. I do not see it. Oh well. I think it was a regular $49.99 or Something like that. Anyway, that's what I got from all these. Now, these books I've had for a while, but I've never showed them. And uh, they're, they're really kind of unique. Um, they are uh, basically Batman the Dailies, 1943 to 1944. There's three books in this set. Uh, well, actually, I think there might have been more than that. Uh, but I think they came out with uh, 43 to 44, and then 44 to 45, and then 45 to 46. But then I think they actually done some after that that are this weird sized, you know, wider than it is long, or wider than it is tall books. But this has just got an awesome Joker cover. And then inside, it's all black and white, and it's laid out just like it would have been in the newspaper. So it's pretty cool. So that's uh, 1943 to 1944. This one here is the 1944 to 45. And all of these just have some awesome artwork on the covers. And you can see they're kind of a decent thickness of book. About twice the thickness of a, of a trade paperback. And it's got some cool art on the back. And then this one, 1945 to 1946. And again, an awesome, awesome Batman cover. And on the back of this one, you have some more artwork. And like I said, these are all in black and white and laid out like they would have been in the newspaper. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see it a little bit there. Just some really cool books. Anyway, I wanted to share those with you because in fact I 
have had these books probably for, oh gosh, I've probably had them for 15 years, <laughs> maybe longer. Um, and I kind of had them tucked away somewhere, and then I found them one day, and it's like, ooh, i got to get those in my cabinet in my room, so I, because I do like to go through these and read them once in a while. And I like the old stuff, I like the new stuff, I like it from, you know, the, the beginning to now. So, uh, well, there's a lot of newer stuff that I don't care much for, but, but anyway, I still, I still get the Batman books, and the Superman books, and, you know, Spider-Man, and, and different things like that. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for tonight. I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. And once again, I want to thank uh, James Boom Boom Comics uh, for the fantastic AOK he sent me. I uh, really appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Have a great week next week. God bless everybody. And have a Merry Christmas. I'll have another video out before Christmas, but I want to go ahead and say to you, have a Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy the time with your family and friends, and hopefully you guys will get off work for a few days and <laughs> and can enjoy that too. I get to be off from, uh, let's see, next Friday is my last day until January 2nd. Which is really cool because we go on shutdown for that entire time. And I'm really glad for that because it gives me a chance to catch up on things, gives me a chance to spend time with my family and you know all that stuff. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you next video. God bless and everybody stay safe.